Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Dr. Jason Barker with the Natural Athletes Clinic, and today I want to talk to you about something known as estrogen dominance. And estrogen dominance is a condition that occurs in women, and you do see it in guys too. But this is when you've got an excess of estrogen and not enough progesterone in your body. You need those two hormones to be balanced out and to temper each other. Symptoms of estrogen dominance, what is that? So things like bad PMS, bad bloating, uh, digestive problems along with your period, uh, irritability, moodiness, breast tenderness, all those things that we kind of say are associated with the unpleasantries of being a woman. Progesterone, on the other hand, will keep you calm, make your sleep nice, make your mood nice, make your hair and your skin nice, things like that. Those two hormones need to be in balance. Unfortunately, it's super common for women to be hormonally imbalanced and typically that goes in the direction of, es of excess estrogen or estrogen dominance causing those problems. We worry about those short-term things that I just told you about, but we also worry about long-term problems like breast disease, reproductive cancers, things like that that are dependent on an excess of estrogen over many years or even over a lifetime to develop. Remember, you're not just gonna wake up in the morning with cancer or with some kind of disease. It's usually months or years in the making. So super important to get estrogen excess or estrogen dominance under control. And so how do we do that? We've got two different natural products that we really like to use in combination. And the first one is called calcium D-glucurate. And what that does is it helps dismantle that estrogen. So you can think of um, when we move a hormone out of the body, it's gotta be dismantled and repackaged. Same thing as like when you move, you gotta take your kitchen table apart, maybe unscrew the legs, take the leaves out, put it in boxes or something like that to get it out of the house and to its next destination. Same thing with hormones. Your body's always making hormones. They, you can use the analogy of a river flowing into a reservoir and then below the dam there's a little bit of spillway so that that reservoir always stays at the same level. We want those hormones at the same level in your body but if there's a blockage or they're not getting out, the dam is, or the reservoir is gonna overflow and you're going to have symptoms. So we need things like calcium d to dismantle that estrogen. And then we also use another one called diindole methane, which is in our product called Indolplex. And what diindole methane does is it helps repackage that estrogen and makes it more readily available to be moved out of your body. So using those two natural products in combination is really good at lowering that excess estrogen. A couple other things you need to be aware of. So your liver works, it dismantles the hormones, it pushes them out through the bile and spits it out into your colon and then you're supposed to go to the bathroom. So if you're a person who is not moving your bowels about once a day, or if you're constipated, that's not good because then that stuff just sits in your colon and gets reabsorbed in your body. So anytime you're doing something like the calcium d and Indoplex, or basically for anything, you wanna make sure that that stuff is getting out of your body as well. Hydrate, fiber, exercise, all of those things are gonna help you have a bowel movement every day. And then the last thing is weight loss. So fat tissue or adipose tissue is really good at holding on to estrogen and even manufactures a little bit of that stuff. So we know women who are obese or overweight have a much higher risk of um, estrogen excess in their body. So weight loss is always gonna be important uh, for many health conditions and especially for estrogen dominance. Okay, so think about those things. Um, if you're excess, if you've got excess estrogen in there, you definitely wanna include the calcium d and the Indoplex plus lots of other veggies. Um, we supplement with these things because while they are in our food, the methane comes from cruciferous veggies uh, think about cabbage and broccoli and Brussels sprouts, things like that. You honestly can't eat enough of that stuff and that's why we make supplements. And same thing with the calcium d -glucurate. We all make a little bit of that, but it's not enough to get that clinical effect of moving that estrogen out of your body. And the last thing I'm gonna say is guys too, men can have estrogen excess as well. So we all know about the man boobs. If a guy is overweight, drinking too much beer, that'll lead to too much estrogen. That'll actually cause breast development in men too. So if you see that happening, guys, you need to take a look at your estrogen levels too. It's not just for men. All right. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you again soon.